Hi, I'm Josh and I'm on I'm Josh and today we're sciencing a potato. <laughs> Now, your first step to science a potato is to get some electrical current going through it. To conduct that current, we're gonna need a fork. I'm not even sure what conducting means. So once you've placed your fork firmly into your potato so the potato juice comes out, where's something electrical? You're gonna want to conduct don't know how to use the word conduct. You're gonna wanna put some electricity into the fork so the potato gets sciced out. To do this, we're gonna use this pancake maker. Simply open the pancake maker. This. <gasps> Simply place the potato inside. Now that your potato is in the pancake maker, you wanna grab your electrical cord and place it in. You then want to turn on the on switch and I think it's on. So you want to make so, so the fork is right underneath the pancake maker, which is where the electrical current will come from. Close it. We should see some electricity coming out here, traveling along the fork to the potato. So you might think already, how sciencedd out is this potato? Well, not fully yet. So to properly science it, we're gonna need to remove the fork and grab some metal iron. You see, we have entered electricity into the potato, so be careful when touching it. One of the items you might need is this paper clip. If we attach the paper clip in, like so, it can further science our potato. Now, what you need to do is further put some metal objects in the potato to help science it. Now that we've stuck some metal items into the potato, it should be sciencing out. Now, to properly harness the sciencing power of the potato, we're gonna need to handle it very carefully. All right, so if we grip onto it from the side, we should start to experience a scientification process. Now, after being in the air for a few seconds, it's gone used to its new sciencey body. But not all of its body is super sciencey. So you wanna grab something so you can flip it. Alright, so once you've done the flipping process, you can carefully remove all of the items inside the newly scienced potato. Now, to harness the power of your science potato is a really complicated step. You want to grab another fork and just stick it right in into the core of the science potato. Now, then you have a fully science potato. You want to grab your phone and stick the end of the fork into your phone and bam it's charging see so as i've shown with the right materials and equipment and skills and maybe even a great guide you can create a fully sized potato able of infinite energy next week we'll be sciencing a banana now guess how many forks we're gonna need to science this <laughs>